Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Boulder Canyon here in Farming Simulator 19. I'm just about to start loading up this bad boy right here. And I wanted to load up with some of these logs at the top up here. Just the, Well, it was, it was one tree that we cut down and that was all we really needed to worry about. So let's start you up. And we go over to here. We want to switch the auto load to the right hand side and then start. Let's see how this does. I don't want to do I don't want to go too far. I'm also making sure that I put that on the 30 times speed that we need it to be on. Load that one. And then I want to get these three here. I cannot work past eight o'clock, remember. Not allowed to work past eight o'clock. I noticed that that one actually that's Loading it forward, I have got, yeah, I've got one pile on here. Oops. Right, well, I definitely didn't want to do that. Okay, so we will stop loading there and uh, loading position, fasten, show unloading position. Well, how do I... If I show loading unloading position like that... Oh! You've actually got to show the unloading position before you can start unloading the wood, I think. Fold additional forks. I'd help resize unloading position. Switch pile. Show loading. Shift unloading. Change number of piles. We've got we, we've gone past our time. We've gone past our time. I want to know how to un show unloading position. Start engine. Oh, that's the right. Okay, ignore that for a minute. We we got to head back because we are late to bed. Um, so we we need to run back to our house and get some sleep, and then we can start dealing with that in the morning. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to actually unload that trailer. There's obviously a command for unloading it, but I don't know what that command is. So I'll check that in a minute. We'll go and sleep the night, and then I will have a look and... Field info, owned by me. So it's actually classed officially as a field. Um, right, back over here. Let's sleep in our tent. We are very soon going to be at least upgrading our house a little bit. I don't know how much we're going to upgrade it, but we are going to upgrade it a little bit. So sleep the night. I'll go and check a minute, and we'll see what we got to do for uh, unloading that timber. I think we have to press Y in order to be able to unload. I think. There's no guarantee that this is right. We've also got a little bit of a pile of stuff over this side. Uh, let's go and check out our animals. We've got... Cleanliness is only 51%, so we need to work on that. Productivity is 95. Productivity is not too bad. A lot of people said that, yes, we should have water installed on the map. Excuse me. We should definitely have this installed. So, would you like to pay $4,300 to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling of the sheep water trough? Yes, we would. The local plumber will arrive at 0600 to install your new tech farm fill system. Installation will be completed in 10 hours. So he's not going to turn up today. It will be tomorrow at 0600 that he turns up and then he starts working through it. We'll have to come back later on and tidy up those. We want to go back up to our tractor and uh, start loading up there. Get the rest of the trailer loaded up and then drag it back over to the mill and the interesting thing today is going to be getting our truck i'm hopeful that we can do it i'm hopeful that we've got enough timber on the ground to be able to do this we could attempt to double load except that there's a couple of the logs on there i, I mean if we're going to try a double load with this tractor we would have to like get rid of some of the timber that we've got on here at the moment and then we'd have to redo it. Because look, we got a couple of those logs there. They're stuck out the back. And that's not really going to work very well. I want to load I want to load these a little bit tidier than they are right now. So we will go back to our 30 times speed. Like that. And in theory, pressing Y should unload. No. 
if I press Y now. The thing is, the additional forks, I'm pressing Y using the additional forks. So why is it not working? Uh... Right, I really don't understand... Oh, hang on a minute. Do I need to switch the auto-load on and then press Y to unload? No, I don't think so. Right, let's just slow that down a minute. I'm going I'm to show you in here because you, you've got the controls down here, right? This is for the auto-load. Change number of piles, switch pile, toggle load marker, resize there... Unload wood on off X right there, but that is also You got your toggle the sides toggle loading position on the Z. So I need to change that one from X um, Unload wood Auto load wood on off it doesn't actually have anything on there and Then down here auto load wood on off. It's got a button there. So unload there so I need to find the other auto... We've got another auto load series. Uh, work mode... That's the different auto loader. That's for, the, that's for doing the logs. That's, that's why I got Y. Unload there with Y. I got that wrong. Um, auto load... I don't know why I've got two lots of auto load inputs right here. This, this doesn't seem quite right. We, we know that the X, though, is being used for something else. So if I say... That would be the... Toggle sides, unloading. Right, what I'm going to try and do, unload wood here on off, is I'm going to change that key there for a Y, like that. Save controls. And we'll see if this has messed everything up. It, I'm hoping it won't. I'm hoping that this AL right here, it might be that one up there. But I don't think it is because that one, auto load wood on off, doesn't have a key. And neither does that one. So I'm hoping... There we go. I've now got... We've got fold additional forks like that. And we can show hide that position there. Show loading position. And press what? There we go. We now start unloading the logs as well. And they put them out in that neat tidy line as well. Which is really cool. So that one's unloaded. So now I can start auto loading the wood. Like that. And you notice that it puts those logs in at different positions across the trailer. Which actually ultimately leads to a very neat and tidy load on the trailer. Which is very cool. So that's what we need to do. We needed to change the key binding on just one of the keys. And I'm not quite sure why we need to do that. Because up until this point it's been absolutely spot on perfect. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's bring you over a little bit closer. So we've got some right over to the edge on that trailer. And a few more in there. Let's get another lot. You can do this. I'm curious if I can load more than just this one. Right, it's now stopped auto-loading. Because we've reached the limit of what we can, of, of where the, how high the logs can go. It seems to get to the limit of how high the logs can go. And then it gives up. Right, sort of about there. So that's stopped right there. But I know that I've got two, actually, let's go and do something about this. We've got these two logs in here that are a little bit too long. But the rest of them should be fine. So if I go like this, and I cut that one off. And I cut that one off as well. That one. Hopefully that will just stay there. Can I pick that one up? I can. So I could move that down here somewhere and just drop that down there. So he's a little bit out of the way. And then I can come up into here. Right, now, if I change that so that I've got there, I've now got two loads, uh, two loading positions. And I want to show loading position. So I'm currently using the front loading position. So if I press the number pad, um, 
full stop button and I go like that and then I start auto loading and it's loading on the back pile and it's far enough away from the front pile that it's not going to cause me any problems by the look of it. I have to stop, I have to go careful, but because I'm loading this, it's going to be interesting to see the tractor can actually pull this one up the hill. We may have to unload it when we get to the sawmill. Um, the other thing is when we're loading this, we're going to have to be very careful doing the loading. And this is why I think we need kind of a staging thing. Because you can load this, but you, you've got to slow, you've got to go really, really slowly. Or the timber, like, drifts down at the trailer. And that's fine to start with. But when you're uh, loading, well, it, it's fine on this one. But if you're loading the front load, if, if you're loading the, the, the front one, um having that lot of timber drift back that's that's not going to work very well at all right i'm going to stop it there i'm actually I've, I've got full brakes on at the moment and i'm not slowing down all right i can't even stop myself from running down the hill we've got so much timber on here it's going to be very interesting to see if we can actually pull this one up the hill into and I didn't actually have it on 30 times speed after all that. So we will fast forward until at least 10 o'clock. So let's just slow down a minute. Yeah, you know what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm getting a picture because this, this, quite frankly, this does look quite cool. Would help if I stayed on the road. He's definitely struggling with this. He's struggling even on the flat. So I don't think that we're going to be able to get this up that slope in the sawmill. Uh, to be able to sell the whole load all at once. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to unload it at the bottom of the hill and then reload it again afterwards. We can slow time down again, back down to our normal five times speed. But yeah, I, I can't see this one being able to get up the hill. I mean, once we get a truck, once we get that one, then we should have enough timber on this load here to be able to go and buy our new truck so there shouldn't be any issues with that i'm really hoping that we've got enough timber to be able to buy it so i'm going to come over to here and then start getting up that hill but no see I'm, even on the level I'm, I'm really struggling with it i cannot see this tractor getting us up this hill four three two and one mile an hour is it going to do it I think it's actually going to do it. We get, we're getting to the slightly steeper part. Having the front weight on definitely makes a difference because it allows the front wheels to engage a little better. I'm going to actually unload this up here rather than just trying to sell it while it's still on the machine, on, on the trailer. Just because I think we should. And we've done it. We've actually got up the hill. It's, it's got past the worst of it. Now it's just got to finish getting up the hill completely. And we, we, we did it. We actually managed to drag this thing all the way up that hill. I did not think we would do it. Slightly disappointed that the Deutz wasn't belching black smoke as it did it. Because let's be honest, if you were doing this in real life, that would have caused any tractor to be belching black smoke hauling a load like that. Uh, so I'm, you know, it's a little bit disappointing that we didn't get the full black smoke effect. But, you know, we don't have to have that. So we'll bring that one over to there like that and I will stop right there. We'll take the straps off. Now, I'm going to use this. So I want to show unloading position and it will load. So you've got there, I can switch, resize. Do you have double? I don't think you have double loads for unloading. I think it just does it like that. Now, I can resize the unloading. So shift unloading quarter of a meter. I can move it like that. Three, four, all the way out there or back there. So I'm going to move it to the second position right there. I can stretch it out a little bit if I want to. You can go like that. And we'll just start unloading now. And it's going to unload the whole lot. I can hide this unloading position with that one like that. And we'll just let it keep going. And it should unload, every, yes it is, it's actually unloaded, it un takes logs from both sides. It takes the whole lot, but it does a very neat job of actually unloading and putting them quite tidy. Because it, it spreads it across the whole unloading position. 
all the way back through. And yeah, you do get a few of the logs don't quite land properly. But as the other ones go on top, it does seem to sort that out. We've got two logs in there that don't actually count. Uh, but I can change those because if I change the number of piles to one pile right there, then I can press Y, start unload. Why is it not unloading? Okay, it's not recognizing that I've got those two in there for some strange reason. But we'll go here and we will go sell. Like that. 39,706. And there's still a couple of logs all the way over there that we didn't even pick up. That didn't even get unloaded. Well, we should be able to just unload everything. We bring the trailer onto here. We should just be able to unload the whole lot. So I will go there and I will auto load those two. And then I'll stop auto-loading, and I should be able to sell those two. Another 1300 So we had $40,000 worth of timber on that load right there. That was absolutely brilliant. And wait a minute. 40000 How much did we need? I think it was 170000 that we needed. We've actually done... We, we don't actually have, after all that, we don't have enough money. It's because we had the seven and a half grand go out overnight, didn't we? Um, one, six, I'm 2,000 short. I'm 2,000 short. Day cab, we got sleeper, triple. I don't want the, the sleeper. And yeah, it, at that price, if that price wasn't on there, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it would actually be dif uh, different. On the double axle, twi uh, day cab, one like that. But the options, I cannot remove the options. The options are, are not an... It, we, we don't have the option to remove the options. It's always going to be 25,000. So regardless of what the thing says at the beginning, we've got extended, bull guard. I'll go with a bull guard, I think. That would be a better one for a forestry type approach. Uh, 169,500. I need $2,000 in order to be able to get that. I wonder, where am I going to get... Can I get a quick 2,000, or do I need to go and get some more timber? I'm just wondering if I do have a quick 2,000 available anywhere that I can grab so that I don't need to worry about going and getting anything else. Let's just park you there a second, and I want to have a look. Oh, no, garage. I want to have a look through here. This is all stuff that we want to keep and that we want to use. Except, a number of people have said this. That one right there have said that I should be selling this one. Now, we talked about delivery and most of you have now said that delivery and pickup should just be standard. Right? They should just come and pick up as standard anything that we've got because we're dropping millions of dollars in that dealership now so th there shouldn't be any issues whatsoever about pickup and delivery we don't have grass ready for mowing just yet um so with that being said we don't actually need to take that x lifter all the way back to the dealership and sell it we can simply tell him to come and get it He's, got, he's not going to give us as good a price as he would give us if we drove it over to the dealership. But I don't want to drive this tractor all the way over to the dealership in order to just drive it all the way back again. Because I've got other things that I want to do. So we're going to put that one there. And I'm going to unhitch that one. I'm going to bring this tractor over here. And I'm going to stop it right there. i tell you what, we could, before we go rushing off and getting that... Um, hang on. Before we go rushing off and getting the... Oh, wait. I can't use the loader arm unless I change it over. And I don't really want to have to keep changing that one over. So I'll just use the baler for now. I'll bring that one back round and I'll use the baler to clear up after the sheep. Um, yeah, I, we'll, we'll tidy up and then we'll go off to the dealership and we will go and get our brand new truck. Let's bring you over this way. Start up. Like that. And we've got 
That's nearly 500 litres of grass right there. So we're starting to get more grass being left out the front when um, they're making a bit of a mess. We'll be able to put that back in for them later on. Should be a good thing. Keep them fed. Bring you back over here. I'll leave you hitched in for a minute because I might actually want you. And we need to run over to the shop. We've got a little bit of a walk to take. That's all right. We can take a bit of a walk. That's the whole idea of this series. We're supposed to do everything on camera and show everything. So we've got to walk over there and then we get that machine, that uh, nice C500. Just having a drink. We get that C500. We bring that one back. We hook it into the trailer. We bring it up here and we load two stacks. Now, what I was actually thinking is we do it loading a single stack while we're out across the, the field bit. Oh. That's a, just, just a branch. Right, so yeah, we, we load a single stack out here on the field bit. And we bring that and we just take it out to the side of the road and we unload it. Then we can park up beside the stack with the trailer and um, load the double stack completely without any issues. Or we should be able to anyway. So once we get over to the dealership, we will speak to the bloke there and we'll say to him, look, you need to go and collect that X-Lifter from home and, and then we'll use that as the money towards our brand new truck. We're not going to be getting a second trailer today because we don't have the money for it, not at the moment. Um, but we're well on our way now. We are well on our way. Once we get this truck going... It'll be a lot quicker and easier getting the timber from the field back down to the uh, sawmill. And it will also mean that for a lot of the job, like the, the jobs in the field, we can put the tractor going. And then we can go back and we can still be selling logs while the tractor is actually working. Uh, we're going to be attempting, probably in our next episode now, we're going to be attempting to... Uh, run the hired help using just a front-mounted mower and a baler. I don't know if that actually works or not. Uh, somebody said that it does, the, the hired help will actually do it, but I don't know if it will do it with wrapping the bales and then automatically unloading them and everything. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. be very interesting. I'm, I'm really hoping it does, because then for the most part we can just put the hired help going and we won't have to worry about it at all in the slightest. Right, uh, before we buy that one, we need to go into here, and he is going to take these away from us. So he's gone and collected those, the X-Lifter as well. I did seriously consider using that one again and using it for some other things, but... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd rather, like, just, just leave it and, and not worry about it. So we want day cab, double axle, that's the one that I want right there. And we can go, we can change the colour if we want to. The colour up there is like that. We've got red metallic at the moment. We can go with some beautiful extra colours, but it's $1,500 to do the extra colours. So at the moment, I can't afford that. So we go with 169500 I do want to change the bumper. I want to change that to the bull guard bumper like that. That um, rack there, we don't need to worry about that one. And the exhausts, we're going to leave those just as they are. Fenders, we've got half guards, we've got mud flaps, or we've got full fenders over the top. I don't know why full fenders over the top cost less than the other bits. I would have thought it would be the other way around. But anyway, there we go, $169,500. Yes, okay. Now, I've never actually tried this truck, so this is this is going to be a, a new experience for me. It looks good. There's no denying that this one looks good. It's got the right tyres and everything. We've got a hitch on the back that I'm hoping we'll be able to pull dollies around. Let's climb in. Let's have a look. It's got a nice interior in here. It feels a little bit strange, admittedly, because it's the wrong way round. If it was in the UK, I'm used to sitting in that seat to drive my vehicles, not sitting over this side. This is the passenger seat. This is, is, is all wrong. I'd probably get used to it. So I don't know if this is accurately represented in here, but... Um... Okay, I don't know if those are good engine sounds or not. I'm guessing probably they're 
medium as far as quality for engine sounds go. It sounded, it, it didn't sort of smoothly transition all that well from starting sounds to engine running. Even I can recognize that much. But the actual truck, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, we've got some speed going on here now. Speed is good. I like that. I like that we got plenty of speed on here. The animation on the PTO shaft in the middle, or the drive shaft in the middle, seems a little bit odd, I must say. It seems to be rotating backwards and forwards. Brakes are sharp. I and mean, we know that we get a little bit of lag in places on this map. That's just something that goes with this map. It's all to do with all the trees that we've got everywhere. Um, so it does sometimes make things a little bit um, sort of behave a little bit strange uh, it's a little bit light on the tail on this one but that's probably to do with the power and the short tail on it at the moment once we get it loaded down with a timber trailer it's it's going to make a difference to it I would have thought so bring you down this way I'm going to shortcut down through the trees now and we're going to see how it copes with a little bit of off-roading that's why we've bought this thing is for off-roading that's what its primary purpose is, is to be off the road, not on the road. So we ought to just make sure that it does indeed work properly. Yeah, no worries. Absolutely no trouble whatsoever. So bring you round like that. Love the brakes on this thing. I don't think this one's going to have any trouble handling the, um, the, the, the full load. And I can do that, and then I can swap that one over. I'll pull this dolly out over here. We'll be using that dolly. Don't worry. Don't fret. We will be using that dolly. That will be used. Oops. That will be used when we get a second trailer. Although we're unlikely to be using a second trailer this close to the sawmill. It's just not really going to be worth it. Um, we'll do that once we buy another slice of land. And we start ferrying it from there. But right now we've got this one. And that means that we've now we're able to use tankers and other things that are reliant on this one for transporting um, like when we get milk and we can start transporting um, things around like that haul that one oops okay let's let's not smash the the bull guard immediately we, we'd like that one to last a little bit longer so I'm just gonna bring that one up like that and everything is working as it should on here. We've got all the correct controls on here. I can fold and unfold the additional forks. I've got one pile on at the moment. So all I need to do is I've got it loading on the, on the right-hand side at the moment. So I'm just going to go up there. It goes up across the stumps without any problems. It's not getting stuck on them because I haven't got too low a um, bumper or anything like that. So I'm going to load single stack you can see how far down the trailer it's drifting which is not a good thing um and but it, it's pulling away very nicely on the hill that's that is a very good thing but yeah so that's that's why i want to load up all the timber first load up until i've got a full load just on a single stack take it off onto or take it to a level area unload it all and then we will see about uh, doing our double load later on so i'm gonna bring that one down there and i'll keep doing this keep going until i've got a load there dump that down there and you can see it's it's sitting itself up onto the bull guard on, on the guard on the front for some strange reason i don't know why it's doing that it shouldn't be doing that although it might be that i've got a piece of timber there that's just a bit too long no, it shouldn't be, because it should be able to do up to 15 meter logs. Right, I'm getting stuck on that tree stump there. Not seriously, but just a little bit stuck. Why do you only take some of them sometimes? I, I don't quite get why it does that. Right, now I will bring you round. Like this. You know what, I'm going to stop loading a minute, and... I'm going to unload right there next to us, so we'll go there. I'm going to show the unloading position a minute, which is that one. 
And then I'm going to change the unloading position as well. Actually, I want to go forward. Let's go forward a bit more. Okay, that, that, that'll be about right. Uh, so I want to, I don't want to stretch it out like that. I'm going to have a short unloading position like this. And then I want to move that one out there as far away from the timber trailer as possible. That, I think, would be the best place. And then switch pile. I've only got one pile on there. Change number of piles if I... Oh, I see. Right, if I'm showing this, that's, then that changes the number of unloading piles. So I can now remove that. Stop showing that. And I can just press Y like that. And it's going to start working on just that little heap back there. And I'll put everything onto that heap. And then you can get the unloading position to come back through and do that again. And we'll be able to come through and... Uh, load right back onto that same spot in theory i'm going to go back round i'll go up here and i will turn i should have this on 30 times speed i should keep that on 30 times speed for a while and we've only got this little pile here so we're not going to quite have as much timber as we had last time but i'd like to be able to at least get it loaded if i can if we can, it would be great to just get that one little bit loaded. I got a tiny little piece of timber left back there. Get this one here loaded up. It's a trouble sometimes with these trees. They're loading in very weird ways. And why is that loading like that? Like why, why does it miss bits? Some of the, some of the bits of timber, it's, it's leaving behind. I'm, I'm leaving little sticks behind in the fields. That's not a very good thing. Now bring you over here. I've already stopped loading part of it. Yeah, I've got two small sticks right there that have been left behind, haven't been loaded. I don't like this at all. That one up. Okay, that one's behaving in a weird fashion. Get you. You've dumped right off the side. And, oh no, it's, it's actually got that little short one. So there's a couple of little short ones there that we've missed. I need to change loading sides. There we go. Change loading sides again. Get that one going. And then I got two bits of timber right here. And again, it's not picking up the little tiny ones right there. So those little tiny scraps, we're going to have to come back and we're going to have to manually collect those. It's a little bit of a shame. I mean... Don't get me wrong, there's, there's not much timber on there. Um, but it, it is something that we're going to have to do. So we've run out of time, and we don't have a full load, not even close. So what I'm thinking is we will... Uh, hang on, I can put that back down to there. I'm, I'm thinking that in our next episode, we will cut down some more trees, and then we'll do, we'll do this again, so that we have a, a few more of these ready and raring to go. I bring that one over there, that's roughly straight on where it was previously, and start unloading it. Yeah, that's pretty much where it was last time. Not quite spot on, but it's close enough that when I come back round to do the loading, we should be able to load quite a lot of them. So I'm just going to move this one now down over here, and we're going to stop that one there. But there is our new truck. Our brand shiny new truck that we will be using to move a lot of timber. So that's all we got time for. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. There. I knew I had some of these somewhere. I think what we'll do is we'll start putting a little pile of these out here somewhere. And we'll gather them up with something else. I don't know what yet, though. Um, but until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.